Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage, and today is day two of 12 days of arts and coffee. So today's coffee is Brooklyn Gingerbread Man. Brown sugar gingerbread flavor. Well, let's go ahead and make it. All right, here's the coffee. Let's give it a taste. Very gingery, I guess. I put Italian sweet cream creamer in it this time because I haven't half killed the flavor altogether in the last one, and I don't think they mix together very well, but it's not undrinkable. All right, so for today's art, we're gonna be coloring in our Coco Wayo Silly Animal book. Let me get it in center here. <laughs> I already picked out a page and I kind of know what supplies I want to use. I'm going to be using some stuff from our advent calendar again. So this is what I pulled out of the advent calendar that I'm going to potentially use. I know for sure I'm going to be using the alcohol marker. I don't know about the uh, chrome marker or the tooltip marker yet, but we'll see. I've already decided on what page I'm going to color and it's going to be this little deer page. But first, let's go ahead and swatch this marker on the paper. See what color- ooh. It comes out as. Very nice. Very similar to uh, some of the other affordable markers I use. It's a chisel and um, bullet tip. I don't know about the ink quality just yet though. We'll see. Now I gotta pick out the rest of the colors I want for that page. All right, I got all the colors I want picked out and I also got my scrap paper behind here because there is going to be bleed through. Let's go ahead and get started with the artisan mark.
So my um, one color dyed is I have it labeled as 22. I don't have like they don't have official names or numbers on them. Um, was dying, so I took this one. It's a bit more yellow than orangey. And I did it across the bottom, and I'm try to I'm gonna try to blend them together to make it look like a, a gradient, like it's on purpose, or maybe that'll be a bit more seamless looking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. to make the nose red or not to that is the question i'm gonna go for it oh so cute all right i was trying to avoid needing to use my pencils today but i think i am just gonna fix up some areas here that ended up looking kind of patchy i think i'm going to be coloring with my crayola blendable pencils
So I did my best with uh, the colors I had and I kind of blended it a little bit better than it was and for the leaves I kind of just used the pencils as a texture thing and less as a like a coloring thing. Now we're gonna go and add some gold into this. Have the bullet end and the brush end. It's not super reflective, but that could also be this paper soaked up a lot of the juice from this, so I won't melt it just yet. I'm gonna use the brush end on the other side here to see how it works. Oh, nice and flexible. So I do like the brush tip. It is like super flexible. It's not really like a brush. It's just a brush shape. Um, you know, like Copics and some Ohuhus have. But it's not as opaque as the bullet side. Oh, let me just throw that, I guess. So it will like need another layer compared to the bullet side. Next, I want to try our chrome here. Um, it says shake, pump, and draw as other like Posca markers and stuff do. But this one says it's like alcohol paste ink. And I don't know if that's typical of paint markers. I thought they were acrylic, but I don't know if acrylic has alcohol in them kind of deal. Whatever. I'm going to use it on the bubbles in the background. I would not call that silver chrome. I would just call it metallic silver. Uh, it could, again, be the paper because this is Amazon printed paper and stuff just seeps through that. So it could have to do with that. I will try it out again on better paper someday. So my thoughts and opinions on the Everblend Art Marker by Arteza is it works similar to the Mondo Llamas where it doesn't spread out as much on lower quality paper like the... Um, the inks and the five below markers do. So I don't know if that's a plus or minus for you. For me, it was a little bit of a minus because I had to color more. <laughs> Less ink spread out to cover the area, but I could see it being good for finer details and such. So far, I do like them. I will probably get more of them so I can try them better someday because right now I had one marker. I couldn't test if it blended well into the other markers, if it blend it at all you know but my coffee is basically gone so this is my completed day two of 12 days of arts and coffee that is gonna be it for me today if you want to check out another cool video you can go ahead and tap the video here if you want to catch up on anything you missed you can go ahead and tap the video here i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to do all the cool youtube things of comment liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next video bye bye